Hello, we are on our fifth and final lesson of our opinion piece, Why Fish Are the Best Pet. Today we're going to illustrate our writing. We went through four other lessons to get to this point. Our first lesson was writing about why fish made the best pet. So we used the blue, looks a little purple on here, the blue marker, and we went through, we told a story. We picked that fish were the best pet, we gave three reasons why, and we put our conclusion on it. The second lesson was going back and putting words to that. So we went back and we wrote the words the best we could in the green there. The third lesson was grammar. We went back, we read it, we checked it, we made sure we began with capital letters and we ended with punctuation marks. Then our fourth lesson was taking this and putting it on lined paper like a first grader. So we did that, resulting in this piece. Now we are going to do an illustration that goes with it. We are going to do a goldfish, but he's a cartoon goldfish. He looks kind of silly. I found a three minute video and I'm going to put it in the comments underneath here. And I want you to watch that first. Watch him a few times. If you have a whiteboard, practice on a whiteboard until you feel comfortable with it. And then when you really like it, you can draw one. When you feel like you're good at it, draw it on paper. If you don't like it, you can use a different paper until you're ready. When you have the one you want and it's colored, then you can glue that one to your final piece. All right, so watch him draw with him, but I'm going to show you my best job right now. So here is a gold, a cartoon goldfish, and we're going to put him inside of a goldfish bowl. So I'm going to make my bowl. And that's gonna really tell me like how big he needs to be. Okay, so here's my goldfish bowl. And then I'm gonna draw him in that bowl. So the first thing you did on the right side, over here on this side, because his body goes back, you make a big, well not big, big, but a pretty good sized circle. He's got some big eyes. You're gonna make an eye. Then next to it, you connect another circle. And then inside, make a little circle in the corner little circle in that and then color the rest do the same thing here little circle in there leave a little bit make a circle and don't color the top one in color this in for some details those are his eyes I'm gonna smooth this out just a little bit all right the second thing I think he did was go around and do the front of the fish so I think he went down, something like this. And then he did a C, backward C. Inside he did a circle and colored it in. Then he went back and he did the back of the fish. Then down here, we're going to have a fin. And for mine, this is gonna be way too short, so we'll see how it comes out. This was longer, but that's okay. Then, put the detail there of the fin. We'll see how this turns out. And then back here, he has a fin. We put some details in that fin. And then his tail. Oh, it didn't come out even. That's okay. Then we have from his eye, we do a C here, C to this hand. Then he did three C's here. 
and two. A couple there, one there. Put some eyebrows on him. And that one is not my best goldfish. So I would have to make a decision. Do I wanna try again? Or am I okay with that? So I'm gonna show you what I did. I practiced on a whiteboard. <clears throat> this was my first one that I did. And then I practiced in detail and tried to pay attention to um, the steps. And that one's pretty good. Then on paper, I did one. And I didn't like it but I actually think it might be better than the one I did right now. So then I did this one. So see, the more you practice, you start to learn things. And then now I did that one. So I would change some things, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with that for now. And I'm gonna make that my fish. So I'm going to color him in. I'm gonna put some little rocks in the bottom of his aquarium here. And have some like little different colored rocks. I'll go back and fill that in after. I'm gonna put some plants in there. Remember the story we read? He had plants in his aquarium. So I might put some plants behind him. And then I'm going to color him in, put some details on him. And in the comments, I will show you my final piece. Good luck. And I want to see yours. Share yours with me.